Peace of the Lord be with you, and uh, good day. This is our uh, devotion for Thursday, September 24th, and um, our reading for today is Psalm 30, and uh, we'll, this is be, well, this will be available in the morning, so we'll follow the morning order, 295, on, in the uh, Lutheran service book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you, and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You have restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry, and to the Lord I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, you have drawn us up out of the pit of our sin and given us your forgiveness and life out of the death that comes from, from our rebellion against you. You have not let our foes of sin, death, and the devil rejoice over you, over us, and we give you thanks that you have healed us, that you have brought up our souls from Sheol, that you have restored us to life from among those who go down to the pit. Lord, we sing your praises. We give thanks to your holy name, for your anger is but for a moment but your favor is for a lifetime. Lord, weeping and tarry, may tarry through the night, but we know that our joy comes in the rising of the sun. As for us, in our prosperity, we so easily think that we shall never be moved, that you have made our mountains stand strong, but when you hide, our, hide your face, we become dismayed. We cry to you, and in now, in any circumstance where we are, are suffering, we plead for your mercy. We ask you to, to be reminded that there is no profit in our death, that if we go to the pet, the dust will not praise you nor tell of your faithfulness. But hear, O Lord, and be merciful to us. Lord, be our helper. Blessed Lord, we give you thanks that you have turned our dancing into mourning, excuse me, our mourning into dancing in light of the forgiveness and love that you have shown us in your Son, Jesus. You have loosed our sackcloth, clothed, clothed us with your gladness, we ask that in that our glory would sing your praise and not be silent. That we would give you thanks forever. Amen. Ah, excuse me. Yawning. Um, yeah, so, so Psalm 30, um, as we look at this, I think, I think it's pretty easy to see the connection to the theme, uh, you know, as we look at the, the, the various uh, readings, especially the, the raising of the widow of Nain and the um, the... the excuse me, the raising of the son of the widow of Nain and, and the son of the widow of Zarephath. Um, you know, I, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up. You have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, oh my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. You know, think about it, especially um, Elijah crying out to, to God for the, the widow, uh, son in Zarephath. And uh, what does he do? He brings, uh, brings him up from Sheol and restores, restores him to life. You know, uh, he, he doesn't leave him in that, that pit of death. And, um, and, and, and as for us, you know, that we return back to that, that, that um, the comfort that we have, that, that he has restored us from the, the pit of death. Not that we won't experience suffering and, and the, the um, manifestations of death in this life. Not that we won't have pandemics, right? Uh, and not that some of us might not even uh, be sickened by the pandemic and ultimately die from it. But... But that our life isn't isn't found here and now. Our life is found in the resurrection of Jesus. He is the one who has gone down 
to the deepest deepest depths of Sheol, the, you know, the deepest depths of the pit, who suffered the greatest, that we would have life in his resurrection, and in that he has overcome our enemies, our enemies of sin, death, and the devil, and they are no longer, uh, there's no longer need for us to fear them. Uh, you know, we, we have so much so much anxiety about death, and, um, and this is true for all of us. We have that that burden on our conscience that says, uh, that, you know, what if I haven't done enough? And, and the law comes to us and says, you haven't. You haven't done enough. But in the gospel we see, but you have the one, Jesus, who has done it for you. So in, that, in view of that, sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, verse 4, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. And weeping may tarry for the night, you know, but the joy comes in the morning. You know, you have the, those those dark times, and, and, and literally in the night sometimes it's hardest, right? To where those those um, those anxieties and those fears strike us the most, uh, and, and so we, we have that that weeping and that anxiety that comes with that. Um, but in, in the, the joy comes in the morning, right? And then the daylight comes, and and we receive that comfort. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, Right, uh, so so that that joy that comes that comes in, in the morning that comes from uh, you know, comes from the rising of the, of the new the new day, um, and, but but also uh, you know our true joy coming from the the, the resurrection the rising of the uh, of, of Jesus right the Son of God. Um, As for me and my I said my prosperity I shall never be moved um, by your favor O Lord you made my mountain stand strong and so you hear here you have this this spot where where uh, where David. Psalmist, or King David says, you know, I had all, all of these things, uh, you know, in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. Uh, you know, this this uh, false confidence that David confesses, he acknowledges that he, um, you know, was was finding his security in those things, uh, and uh, and the, the mountain, the Lord made my mountain stand strong. You know, the the mountain is this this uh, symbol of of stability and immobility and steadfastness, right? Uh, but then it says, "You hid your face, and I was dismayed." You know uh, what happened then to you, O Lord? I cry, and to the Lord I pre plead for mercy. You know the, those, then the hard time comes, and, and uh, it seems it feels as though God hides from us, and, and He's He's turned away from us. Um, and, and we we cry out to mercy, and we we should cry out to, for mercy in those times. Uh, you know that's uh, you know that that is is God's God's goal. Not that not that He would manipulate us into to loving him or anything like that that's not um, you know that would that would have at, at its at its heart something sinister and and um, unloving um, but but God that you you know as a parent you find ways that uh, that, that are best to discipline each individual child and um, you know God God is the the perfect parent. All the ways that I fall short as a parent, God makes up for them. All the ways that your parents fell short as parents, God makes up for them. All the ways that you fall short as a parent, you know, in Christ there is there is the the way the, the, the there's the perfection, the the the, the perfect perfect perfection in parenting. Um, so we plead for, we plead to God for mercy, and that's what He wants. He wants to give. Uh, you know, he wants to give more than we can ask or imagine. As we as we were. Um, Read, read in the, the Ephesians three reading, um, and in view of that, then you know we say to, we say to God, what profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Um, you know, the pleading pleading to God for His name's sake, right? Um, you see this with Moses uh, in in Exodus thirty four. I think I mentioned that where you know the the, the uh, Exodus thirty two. Excuse me, the the um, Israelites create the golden calf, and, and there's all this anger at them breaking the first commandment, and, uh, and and so there's this punishment that comes. But Moses, in the midst of that, comes in to, before God, and he intercedes. You know, I talked about Elijah interceding for uh, for, for the, the widow's son yesterday, and um, you know, there's this intercession that Moses does. But how does he do it? You know, he doesn't say. God, you know, you know, you got to really take it easy on these people. They're trying their hardest. They're really nice people, and you know, he doesn't say that. He says, "Do it for your name's sake. Do it because of the promise you made to your servant Abraham, that by his offspring, 
you know, the, the entire world will be blessed. You know, do it, do it because of, of what you have said. Do it because of what you have promised. Do it because of who you are. Do it so that the, the nations around here wouldn't think that you're some kind of tricky God who brought your people out, that you would just destroy them in the wilderness. You know, uh, this, is, this is for your name's sake, right? Um, God, God's good is given to us for his name's sake. Uh, and, and that benefits us, thanks be to God. But it's not, it's not a, something we, we ask for simply for our own sake. Um, but, but it's not to say that. Of course we pray for things because we want them for ourselves. But, but properly understood, we should pray the, be praying them for God's name's sake, that he would be glorified, that, that as he heals us, um, you know, th think about what it says here as it goes on. Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. Then we're continuing that plea for mercy. Verse 11, you have turned from me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth. You have clothed me with gladness that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. And what's he doing? He's praising God right here in this, right? Um, o Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. And, that, and there's that, that glorification that as God brings that, that peace to us, we have that, that glorification. And most of all, um, you know, the glorification of him, most of all, we have that in, in Christ. And you know, that's why we, we give praises that we do, because the, the, ultimate, um, the ultimate suffering of hell, the, the, um, the, 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 the fears of insecurities and the, the challenges of our sins, all of that has been overcome in Christ. And um, now we, we give praises to, to God for that. You know, and, and, that, and as the world hears those praises, uh, this, this carries God's name into the world. And, um, and by that, some belief, right? And, then, and are brought into that same joy that we have in that mercy. Amen. We continue by confessing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, hear me again, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, my life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I hope everybody has a, a good weekend, and I uh, look forward to having you join us again for, uh, for our Sunday service and uh, devotions next week. God's blessings be with you.